Hey everyone, it's Sarah from Nova Scotia. Welcome back to Colorful Creations. I'm gonna do a Dutch board today as a gift for my brother. It's on a 24 by 24 inch canvas. I'll show you. It's a pretty good size. I find square a little intimidate, intimidating sometimes, but you know, I'll just go with it and see what happens. Um, so I'm gonna use, uh, it's gonna be a white for the negative space, so I'm gonna put that uh, first. Now these paints are mixed how I normally mix them. It's a slight, slight bit thinner than I would do for, for like some other things, but there's a video in the description to how I mix them if you want to go watch that. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna tilt this around. I find it kind of gets it a lot even, more even that way. Now, um, I asked my brother what colors he likes and he said, I like all the colors from Pandora from the movie Avatar. So I love the movie actually, uh, but I had to Google it because I couldn't remember what it exactly was, but it's super pretty. So all like purples and greens and just really vibrant colors. So I got a big mix of stuff here that should, should work for that. Let's find it. It spreads it a lot easier if you tilt it around like this. I know it's kind of like, seems harder, but with a spatula or just with your hand, I find it's not even and I want it to be even. And also, you end up with way too much on there. And then if there's too much and you go to blow it, sometimes, sometimes the colors end up, I don't know, somehow being driven underneath the white. So I'm just gonna make sure that my corners and edges are covered really well. So I'm gonna give us a torch to pop these bubbles. I just mixed this paint up today so it's really full of bubbles. What is going on? I just filled up this torch with butane. I don't know, I must need a new one. I don't know what's going on, but it's it's like catching fire. You see these dark spots? But, ah, what am I supposed to do? I gotta, I'm gonna have to leave the bubbles in this one. This is, this is not good. Okay, this is like, this is crazy. What is going on? Oh, all these dark spots. Maybe they'll blend in. Jumping. That is weird. Has anyone ever seen that before? Maybe like, leave me a comment. Wow. Very, very weird. Okay. <sighs> Thanks for joining me today, by the way. <laughs> All this craziness. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do. Unless that maybe that turned you off. I don't know. Um, so let's get to it. I'm gonna do a couple little swiggly lines. I'm gonna start it with phthalo green. This is by Montmart, and I have it mixed with a little bit of iridescent pore medium. And I just have. I, I wish I had squeeze bottles, but I didn't, I didn't have enough. So I just put everything in these little cups, and I'm just squeezing the end really tight to try to get it not as much come out. Now I want to save away from the edges and not have any lines touch because I don't want big blotches. So maybe I will do that and then um, the next one is a mixture of cerulean blue and turquoise. Oh my goodness, really, did that really just happen? Oh my God, okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Wow, I, okay, I gotta really get squeeze bottles. Those little, those little cups are not working. It might be okay. Next one is Brilliant Blue. I think it works better to not try to squeeze it. I have a color shift by Folk Art. This is Blue Flash, I think it's called. If it's not that, I will 
put it on the screen when I edit it. I have a purple, and this is actually half purple, half uh, metallic purple. I like it when they shimmer. I love iridescence and metallics. Actually, usually when anything is not an iridescent or metallic, <clears throat> I will add um, a iridescent pouring medium to it. This is Pebeo Iridescent Green Yellow. Super pretty. I've been kind of liking this lately instead of gold. I have a Pebeo Iridescent um, Violet Blue. It doesn't look blue at all to me, but that's what it's called. I must have figured out how to pour these because it's working better now. Um, this is a cerulean blue. And the last one I have is cobalt, metallic cobalt blue. And I might put a little bit of white. I don't know if that will do anything, but maybe break it up. And then I want to add some white along the edge here. I want to make sure that flows easily. I don't, I, you know, I'm going to just clean up that spot now. I think, I think that's going to be too much. I don't think it's going to really... I'm just going to scrape it off, I guess. It's fluid art. It's just, you gotta have some randomness to it. Okay, I'm gonna blow this out. So I have a hair dryer. Um, I have an attachment added to it. It's just these little attachments. I got, is a three in a set from Amazon. I think $20, three different sizes. This is the biggest one, nice wide edge. So I just attach that to the end of my hair dryer. I also have an airbrush I like to use for finer details instead of a straw or blunt for my mouth. Like if you want little bits of movement here and there, I just use my airbrush. I don't add paint to it, I just use the air that's coming from it. like this. These colors are working really well. I'm getting some pretty little cells going on. I'm just going to go around the edges and create a little bit more movement with the with the airbrush. And I'm just going to add anywhere I might add a little bit of paint along, like white along there to help it flow. It depending on if it's dry, looking dry or not. All right, here we are. These colors blend so well together. They're all showing. What do you think? Definitely a splash of color. I will show you from the other side too. All right. So let me know what, it, what you think in the comments. And if anyone knows why my lighter would have been catching the paint on fire like that, please let me know. 
I don't know, it's it's old, it is old, and I just filled it up, so maybe it's just leaking or something. I'm not, I don't know much about them. So I'll let this dry and cure for a couple weeks, and then I will put some, I don't know, varnish or resin on it, we'll see. And I'll show you when it's dry. I decided to go with resin after all. I could have done varnish, but resin does such a better job, and this is a gift, and I wanted it to be extra special, so I just went with it. So I'm using Magic Resin here. I have a tutorial in the description um, of a full tutorial for art resin. It's done pretty similar. Um, it's mixed one to one. It takes 24 hours to harden and about 72 hours to cure, and you need your room to be at least 20 degrees Celsius. Um, so mix it up in small batches. If you mix too much at a time, it can just cure instantly and you don't want that to happen because it's a huge waste. So mix it up one to one, stir it really well and um, spread it all over a little at a time, spread it out, make sure it's even. It is self-leveling, but you know, you gotta kind of gotta try a bit, I guess. <laughs> um, make sure it's, it's covered right to the edges. Um, I have tape here to create a dam so that I, it makes it easy to get there and then take a blowtorch or heat gun or something and go over the whole thing really slow and carefully to get all the bubbles out. And make sure you pick out any dust particles that might fall in while you're doing it. Right, it's all finished. With the resin, resin cured beautifully. Um, I didn't, I have, a, I have a tutorial on doing resin and there's a little tip that I don't have included in my video that I will tell you now. Um, I'm not sure if you could tell in the res with the resin I had tape along the edge and I had it just a bit, like a lip above, and like almost like a dam, I guess. And I let the resin sitting sit on there for probably half hour, 45 minutes, and then I pulled tape off and let it just kind of soften down over the side. And then I took my finger and just smoothed it along there. I had to add some extra because it's such a wide edge. But it works really well because a lot. I find a lot of times, I find a lot of times with a canvas, it kind of sinks in the middle a little bit, and um, it ends up pulling away from the edge, and the edge is exposed. It's just you just see the the canvas, which isn't ideal, and you have to use a ton of it to cover it. And this this made it. Um, I don't know if you can really, you can't really tell, but it it's it's covered. The corner's covered, which is really good. So, what do you think of this one? I love it. The, all the colors of Pandora. <laughs> I, I mean, you could do it this way, but um, I don't know. I think this is the best way. What do you think? And then I got all the sparkles. I got a little glare from the light going on here, but you can kind of see the sparkles happening. I'll try to show you that outside. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to get a sunny day to show you this outside, so I'm showing you on the wall instead. It's really hard. You can see my reflection in there. That's what you get with resin. But this turned out so nice, like you really need to see this under light to really get the full effect of it. Um, all the colors of Pandora. I hope he likes it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.